So, uh, not gonna lie, man. It's been a minute since I've done any tier list on Jutsus and Shinobi Striker. Which is why, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an attack type tier list. Now, listen, I've already recorded this video, but the thing is, I forgot the Konohamaru Jutsus. I forgot to download them, so that was an L tier list. And honestly, man, that was a 4v4 type tier list. This time, we're just gonna do overall, man. I'm gonna be honest, I think that'd be easier, because, you know, I, I would rather do that than split up videos. So, listen, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get into the video. So, for the first ninjutsu up on the list we have imperial wrath now listen imperial wrath is an amazing s tier jutsu i don't think anybody could disagree this is literally the meta right now for attacker class you will see every attacker and their mom using this jutsu it's the reason why it literally takes subs away it has super armor it literally is a two-step attack it's just a very broken jutsu get us from the quacky dlc and yeah like i said man it's a very easy s tier let me know what y'all think though man am i am i tweaking but i don't think anybody could say i'm tweaking bro like it's just it's the meta bro Next up on the list, we have Lightning Blade from the Kakashi Freeview Art Master. Now, this is basically like a Chidori. You charge at your enemies with a Lightning Blade. And the thing is, you can literally block this, and that's all there is to it. It has no special effects. So, with that being said, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't seem that good to me. I would never use it unless I'm bored. I'll say this, though. It's very good for flag, but if you want to travel across the map, so if you don't have, like, purple lightning and stuff, you know, some jutsus that would be better than this, honestly, man, you could use it to travel. But besides that, I'll give it a good C rating. But, yeah, man, I feel like the only use is to literally move around because you could literally block and i don't get why that's even a thing okay next up we have eight gates gate of limits from the rock lee free vr master now this is a self-healing ultimate you get it kind of fast i would say you get it pretty fast and yeah you get a attack boost you don't get a speed boost i might be wrong you might get a speed boost but i know it definitely heals you get an attack boost and yeah that's pretty much it it's i would say the seven heavenly breasts is way better and that's literally a free ultimate so with that being said i'll probably give this one a good b tier it is a self-healing ultimate that you can use so there's that but personally man there are just way better ultimates okay so next up on the list we have summoning manda now okay this is not summoning Manda. this is summoning snake now i think you get this by playing 50 games of attacker now listen the summoning snake is actually an underrated uh jutsu my honest opinion because like he uses for base and flag but it's you know put a snake down while you're trying to get the thing the objective and i'm not gonna lie bro this snake does a lot of damage it could be very useful i like it a lot i think it's very underrated so i'm gonna give it a good b rating to be honest this will be the first b rating ninjutsu in my honest opinion but what do you guys think about the giant snake in my opinion man is very good you guys should definitely try it if you have it man and yeah so next up on the list we have boruto strike literally one of the fastest ultimates in the game now boruto strike this of course on the board so free view our master it literally does a three-step attack you hit him in the air and then you got clones you just throw our thing out so never mind it's a two-step but with that being said though i would say it's a very good ultimate it does like 70 percent damage depending on the class and it, yeah like i said it does a good amount of damage you get it fast and with that i'll probably give it a good uh I'll give it a good 8 tier. I'm not going to lie. I'll give it a good 8 tier. I would use this for pits mainly and maybe combat battle. Besides that, though, I probably wouldn't use it for anything else. But pits is where this will shine. But it's just, you get it so fast, man. It's it's insane. So next up, we have the Ritual Destruction from the Quacky DLC. Now, this ultimate has been nerfed before. I'm pretty sure they reduced, like, the way it just tracks them. That's kind of an L on the ultimate. But, oh, yeah, this is from the Quacky DLC. My bad, I forgot to say that. But basically, man, you charge your enemies. And once you hit them, you literally, literally just wait, like, five seconds. It'll shoot out a giant bomb. So that's good. But the thing is, sometimes you will miss it because there are stuff in the game that just counter this very easily, like a time space hop or something like that. So sometimes this may be a waste of a O and it takes like a long time to get. So that being said, I'll probably use a good beat here. It's not a bad ultimate at all. It's very beautiful. But yeah, like I said, man, you could easily dodge it and... It's a very low chance you'll hit it. Next up on the list, we have Flying Rising Level 1. Basically, with this, you're going to be throwing a kunai down. And then you could teleport at any time that you want to. Like, the next 10 seconds, you will teleport back. And why this is in effect, you have an attack boost. So, you want a free sub and an attack boost? Flying Rising Level 1 is a W ninjutsu. Now, I'm not going to lie, man. This is like a, a, a pit-type jutsu. Or you can use it for any other game mode if you want to. Mainly, I would use this for pits. Have that attack boost and the free sub. Because you guys know everybody and their mom in the pits are literally sweat. So, that extra sub could be vital it's not really a sub it's just like a, a, a teleportation so yeah with that i would honestly put this at a good b tier i wouldn't say it's the best jutsu but that, that attack boost that you do get hey man that's some extra damage in that sub it could be useful man the way you guys use it so that's a good b tier for me okay so next up on the list we have flying rising level two now flying rising level two you throw a kunai and then after that you would teleport on top of your 
enemy and hit him with a Rasengan. It does a decent amount of damage, not the most, but it gets from the Minato DLC. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. A lot of y'all love this Jutsu, but to me, it's a very generic Jutsu. It doesn't do much. It literally just does the damage. You could block it, so that's the thing. You could literally block the Jutsu. So, yeah, with that, I would honestly put it, uh, I want to say a low beat here. I'm going to be honest. I would rather use this than Lightning Blade. That's a fact, bro. But it's a good Jutsu nonetheless. Uh, I just, there are way better Jutsus in my opinion. Next up, we have Vanishing Rasengan. This is a long range ninjutsu for attacker class, which is very good. It breaks guard. It is from the free Boruto VR Master for attackers. And it's a good Jutsu, to be honest. Sometimes you might miss it. It's kind of hard to like hit. So that's probably the downside about it. But it's a long range Jutsu breaks guard. I like it, man. But. I give this one a good beat here as well. I'll probably put this above Flying Rajin. Okay, so next up we have Sharingan from the Kakashi Free VR Master. Now Sharingan, I love Sharingan, bro. Sharingan is a free sub. This could literally get you out of any situation. And that's pretty much it. It's literally just a free sub. With that being said, it's a good A tier. Honestly, man, I would not I would put it S tier low key. I would put it S tier because the thing is, right? Here's the thing about Sharingan. It's good, but in some game modes you don't need it. But Sharingan in the pits and I, honestly it's perfect for the pits honestly bro like that's probably it bro i'm gonna be honest i would rather use other jutsus in other game modes but pits bro oh my you need sharing on man sharing on if this is a, a pure pit build it'd be s tier but a good a tier right now is good for it okay so next up we have the eight gates from the mike guy dlc now this is the most broken ultimate in the game the reason why is you get five sekizos after that you heal yourself up well actually before that you heal yourself up and after that you can use a kick that will literally make your enemies wait like 20 seconds to respawn now i might be exaggerating on the strongest ultimate but it's definitely one of the best ultimates thing is though for game modes like combat battle it will probably sell your team unless you don't get any kills because after that you will die and that's a point lost so that could play an effect majorly for your team it could literally affect the game even though you might get a lot of kills you, you dying could you know affect the game mode i'm just saying but honestly with that being said though i'll give us a good top of eights here i'm gonna be honest with like the ultimates but let me know what y'all think about the eight gates formation I, lo I love this ultimate but i'm gonna give it an eight here next up we have teleportation jutsu now this has a lot of uses it's basically a teleportation and you just dash you know it has a good amount of distance where you teleport and yeah honestly for game modes like flag battle and base this is where it really shines you don't need this for combat battle or pits if you want to be a track star in the pit i mean you could do this bro i guess you could be a weirdo but this is where it will shine base and flag battle you definitely need it man so i would say not base maybe yeah, that shows me bro i'm using it in base battle to travel to get bases but flag battle man this is the most meta jutsu for flag battle if you're a runner uh, attacker flag runner so with that i'll probably give this a good a tier like i said man these are very good for certain game modes but they're just not perfect overall you know what i'm saying so i think a is a good spot for teleportation it has its uses so next up we have giant rasengan now giant rasengan in my opinion is pretty trash but you can make it work you can make it work i'll say that right now i'm gonna give it a good seat here though the thing is though it's very hard to land you need to set it up right i recommend using this for base battle flag i'm not gonna lie i've been using the combo with strange taste and then using this mass rasengan to deal damage we, it literally works so good because you get it super fast and the enemies are just there sitting there so i like master rusting on a lot bro but it's just not the best jutsu in my opinion when it lands though it does a lot of damage so i'll say that but i think a good seat here is where it belongs all right man so next up we have the lightning style chakra mode this is free you get it by playing 50 games of attacker i'm pretty sure now lightning style chakra mode is a very good ultimate because with this you're gonna be getting super armor when you activate it and you'll be able to flinch to attacks and you will just have a amazing attack speed boost so yeah man this could be a very good ultimate for any game mode if i'm being honest it would really shine in the pits and flag battle because you know when you're a flag runner you want to not flinch to attacks and then pits you just dominate your enemies with this bro you put on an imperial ref and then this you'll just be blitzing them with your attack speed but yeah uh, with that i'll probably just put it a good beat out to be honest man it's good but they're just way better ultimates i do love this ultimate a lot i've been using it uh recently now we have seven heavenly breaths this is an ultimate you get by literally starting the game that's crazy right this right here is an a tier ultimate bro i will put it s tier matter of fact bro i'm gonna put it s tier 
Seven Heavenly Breaths, bro, is just too good. You get it so fast. You heal up your HP over time, and that's literally it, bro. You, it's just so good. I don't know how it, they. I don't know why they made it so good as a free ultimate, but this could work for any single game mode. If you have this in the pits, bro. You're just never gonna die, bro. If you have a certain build, you play a certain way, you have this, you're gonna be annoying. I'm gonna be honest, people are gonna hate you in the pit. Common battle is cool too, you know, if your team sucks, you need some healing, you got this free ultimate that heals you over time. And yeah, and base and flight uses if you want to, but... Bro, this is an S-tier ultimate, but let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know if my picks are controversial, but bro, S-tier for his 7 heavily bros, man. Okay, so next we have the Flying Rajin level 3 from the Minato DLC. When you throw this ninju, I mean, not this ninju, to this ultimate, it will basically almost one-shot your enemies. Sometimes it will, but sometimes it won't, so you gotta be careful on that. You get it kinda, not fast, but you know, it, it's a good ultimate. Like, it has, it doesn't have a long cooldown, it doesn't have a short cooldown, it's like, it's like balanced. So yeah, with that, man, I'll give this a good A tier. Probably the top A. I think this is better than the My Guy Ultimate. So Fly Raging Level 3, man, from Mental DLC is very good. It was low-key my go-to back in the day. I don't really use it that much, but I still love it, man. It's a good ultimate. Next up, we have Acrobat Technique from the Killer B DLC. Acrobat Technique is a very underrated jutsu. With this, basically, it's a counter technique. When your enemies hit you when you're in this pose, basically, man, they will lose their subs and they will get damaged. So yeah, with that, you can use it for pits. You can use it for combat battle. You can use it for any game mode, to be honest. So honestly, bro, this is a good B tier. It's low-key an underrated jutsu. You guys need to try some of these jutsus if uh, you have it, man. Before, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I know I'm deep in the video already, but guys, there's no bad jutsu on here, bro. Let's be honest. There is no bad jutsu on this tier list. It's just a player, man. So I would recommend all of you guys to try all these jutsus out and see what you like, bro. This tier list is mainly just what my personal opinion is better than what. Okay, so next up on our list, we have the Konohamaru DLC Jutsu Firestop Burning in Ash. Now, Burning in Ash, I would honestly bro like just playing the dlc for like a good month or two actually i don't even know it's been a month i think it's been two weeks actually bro my bad but honestly the kanamaru dlc is pretty good i want to say it's the most broken dlc it's a good balanced dlc but fly star burning in ash you will basically throw out smoke kind of like a thunderclap arrow from the boruto dlc the defense one basically when they're in the smoke they'll be stunned after that you can activate it and do a fire style but it's a good jutsu. I just think there are way better jutsus for every single game mode, you know, to use instead of this. So with that being said, I would honestly give this a good B tier, honestly. It's not a bad jutsu at all. It's just there are better jutsus. I do like it a lot, though. It does a good amount of damage. You can set up some crazy stuff with this, though. So listen, man, it's a good B tier to me. What do y'all think, though, man? This new DLC just dropped. I need to know you guys' opinion. Because we got Leaf Flash from the Rock Leaf Free VR Master. Leaf Flash is, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's, it's not a bad jutsu, but it's just like, it, sometimes it doesn't land, and other times it just, yeah, it lands, bro. But mainly it does not land. That's the thing about it. It breaks your guard. It's just a kick straight down. And then sometimes you could combo after it, but sometimes you can't. I don't know. It's kind of weird, bro. Honestly, man, it's a good jutsu. I'll probably put it at the bottom of B tier, though. I do like it, but. It just needs to land more. I needs a buff. I don't know what it needs. Okay, next up on the list, we have Rasen Shuriken. Now, listen, this is controversial, but this is a D tier jutsu. Listen, you need a setup to land this, or else it's just never going to land. I'm just being honest. If a jutsu needs a setup to make it work, so it's just usually trash, bro. And Rasen Shuriken, you literally charge up like for four seconds, and in that time that you're about to throw the kunai, you you just lost it, bro. That's to me, bro, it's a good jutsu, but, bro, it needs something else, bro. I don't know what, bro. Maybe it needs super armor while you activate it, bro. I feel like they make it better. But Rasen Shuriken from the free Naruto VR Master, it needs work, bro, honestly. I do like it again, like I said, but it needs something else. Okay, so next up on the list, we have Koto Matsukami from the Shea Sweet DLC. Now, guys, Koto Matsukami has amazing uses. Honestly, man, bro, this is probably a, a top of eight tier ultimate. The thing is... Now, matter of fact, it's S tier. I'm sorry. It's a S tier. It literally is perfect. You gain infinite subs when activated. The enemies will be in against you for like 10 seconds. You can clutch up game modes with this. Amazing ultimate, bro. Literally meta. We will see every chart using this in 4v4s. You can use it in the pits if you want to and be toxic, but mainly it's for 4v4s, bro. It's super good, super clutch. You don't need the chase with DLC, man. It's the best attack DLC in the game still to this day. Okay, so next up on the list, we have Leaf Rising Wind. Now, listen, I, this might be controversial. I've been called an idiot for saying the Jutsu is not the best. But listen, man, it's a straight kick to the air. Everybody says it's the most meta Jutsu. I don't see how. Maybe it's a short cooldown. But it's just literally a simple kick to the air. And yeah, bro, that's literally all there is to it. It's not bad at all. 
it has nothing else to it, bro. That's the thing. So it does land sometimes, but listen, I'm gonna give it a good beat here. I'm gonna say at, I will say like middle beats here, like right here. Listen, bro, it's not a bad YouTube, but I don't understand the hype of this man. Maybe I just suck at the game. Maybe I don't scream like y'all do, bro, every single day. But like, bro, it's just to me, it's not the best YouTube. It's just way better YouTubers that do way more than just a simple kick in the air. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's a good beat here. Let me know what y'all think, though. This might be the most controversial pick on here, but hey, bro. Let me know what y'all think. So next up on the list, we have Dynamic Entry from the My Guy DLC. Now, Dynamic Entry, I love this jutsu. Literally, you gain defense boost. And it's an S tier, bro. You get in defense boost. It hits your enemies with a kick. The kick doesn't do, like, the most damage. It does good damage. It definitely does good damage. It could break guard. But the main thing, it raises your defense, bro. And raising your defense could be very vital in this game. It literally could save you from dying sometimes. So, dynamic entry. You get it super fast. Kind of not really. You get it, uh, I would say, like a medium pace. I think it's like a 16 or 15 second cooldown. I love the Jutsu a lot, man. And you will see everybody using it because it's just it's very good, man. It's very useful. So, dynamic entry is a good S tier. Next up, we have Kamui, bro. Like, come on, bro. Kamui. There's no reason to explain Kamui. It just never lands. It sucks. You need a setup for it. You get it from the free Kakashi VR Master. It just, it needs something else, bro. I don't know what it needs. It already, already has a small cooldown, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what it needs, bro. It's just, it's trash, bro. It's literally trash. So next up on the list, we have Strange Taste from the Quacky DLC. Strange Taste, you basically get your ultimate gauge up when you absorb anything around you. It's basically melee attacks from your enemies. Jutsus will charge it up a lot. And yeah, it's just an absorption technique. You gain ultimate gauge. With that being said, though, I would also give it a good uh, B tier. It has uses to gain ultimates, but like sometimes you just need different juices than just stealing ultimates. Because the thing is, right, when you're doing that animation, people could literally jump. <laughs> They'll jump you and you'll die, bro. So you will get your ultimate, right? But you'll probably get jumped in the process in 4v4s. You could use it in the pits, though, if you want to be a toxic player and just farm ultimates off people that are just stupid and literally don't know how to use their jutsus. But yeah, man, a smart player knows how to counter this, so I'll give it a good beat here. Although, man, it's probably the most fun jutsu in the game, so uh, I like Strange Taste, but it's a good beat here. Okay, so next up on the list, we have U4 Roar. Now, U4 Roar is basically a roar that does no damage. I think it does, like, maybe a pubic damage. I'm not even sure if it does anything. But the thing is, you gain an attack boost. Now, that attack boost is cool, but sometimes it takes years to activate this, and your enemies will probably knock you out of this before you even activate it. So, with that, I'll give this a good seat to You get this from the Might Guy DLC. I like this Jutsu. It's just, I don't know, man. You get knocked out of it easily. That's the only downside. And it takes a while to charge up. It doesn't take a while, but, like, just... If you're fighting a good team, bro, they're just not going to let you do this, bro. Unless they're just being, you know, not in your way, bro. So, yeah, man, I'll give it a good seat here. So, this one on the list, we have Wood Dragon Jutsu. Wood Dragon Jutsu is probably the most annoying game. Not the most annoying game. The most annoying Jutsu to get hit with in this game. Let me, actually, Mo, if you're in the comments right now, please, if you made it this far, what is the most annoying Jutsu to get hit by? I swear to God, it has to be Wood Dragon. Just getting hit with a Wood Dragon and knowing you have no Jutsu and your enemy just got HP off you is just really annoying, bro. It's, I hate this Jutsu with a passion, but listen, it's a good A tier ultimate. I said ultimate. It's a good A tier Jutsu. I love Wood Dragon. I don't use it that much, but I do love it when I use it when it lands. It's just toxic, bro. You gain HP back. It seals your enemies' uh, at Jutsus in. Yeah, man, it's very good. I'll give it a good A tier. Probably not an S tier, but hey, man, I love the Jutsu for pits. And you can use it in combat as well to be very toxic. And yeah, bro, I love uh, Wood Dragon. So next up on the list, we have Kurama Twin Impact. Kurama Twin Impact, I this is a good A tier. The reason why is Kurama Twin Impact could be used for almost every single game mode. Combat battle, pits, is uh, flag battle, base battle. It's literally a perfect jutsu, I'm not going to lie. Thing is, though, I feel like it needs a bit more. Actually, it already takes away subs, but maybe add like one more effect. If, you had, if it has like one more effect, it'd probably be meta, I'm not going to lie. If it had like a, a raising defense or something or lowering defense... This jutsu will be broken, but yeah, it literally is a clap with a tail beast bomb to the floor. And then after that, they'll have no subs. And it's just, it, it takes off super armor as well. It's just a very good jutsu overall. If you don't use this, bro, you need to use it, man. So with that, I'll give it a good A tier. Also get this from the Naruto Kage DLC. Next, we have Tornado High from the free Boruto VR Master. And Tornado High is an amazing jutsu to combo with. It's good for combos. You gain HP after you use it. So yeah, with that, I'll rate this a good B tier. I would say it's mainly for the pits and combat battle. You wouldn't really use this in a base or flag. So 
I would say top of B is good for it. It's a very underrated jutsu. You guys need to use it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. It recently got a buff as well. Okay, so next we have the A Tails Chakra Mode. A Tails Chakra Mode is from the Killer B DLC. You will basically recover your HP when you activate it. And when you do use it, man, you won't have a speed boost, but your jutsu power will be raised by a ton, bro. I'm talking about like you probably one shot your enemies with a jutsu when you activate this. So yeah, and there's also a second activation to it. It probably will miss when you use it, but hey, bro. Second activation, pretty trash, but hey, it has it man so there's that but with that being said i'll probably give this a good beat here i'll probably put it at the top of the beats here honestly man it's just these ultimates are just better than you know uh eight cells man like this one eight gates you literally gain a speed boost you have the sekizos that i feel like that'd be more useful than this but it's still a good ultimate nonetheless man it's a good ultimate i love eight cells i love the way it looks but it's just their better ultimates okay so next up we have wood style from the hashrama dlc the ultimate now this is basically a it's will take years to get this ultimate in the game sometimes you will not even get it unless you have like you know other stuff like strange taste to get it easier but with that, bro, it, it's good for, like, clutching up. But the thing is, the enemies could just run away from it. They'll literally see a, a giant mark. Still going to find that it's going to be dropping. So, they could dodge it very fast, depending on their movement. So, with that, I'll probably give it a good beats here. Probably, like, right here. But yeah, probably, like, right here in the middle of beats here in the ultimate range. It's just... It could be better, bro. Maybe reduce the cooldown. But, you know, it is pretty broken. You could clutch up games. But yeah, man, I would not use his ultimate. It's good, but they're better ultimates. So next we have Laughing Buddha Jutsu from the Hashirama DLC. This is basically a hand that comes from the ground. Two hands that will clap your enemy. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do any other effects. I might be wrong though. But Laughing Buddha Jutsu is good for setting up combos and other stuff. So I give it that, man. It's a good beat here. I'll probably put it like, uh, mm, you know, I'll probably put it. Actually, yeah, I'll put it like right here. Probably bottom of beats here. It's not a bad Jutsu at all. But, yeah, they're just way better jutsus, man. So, this is why we have Universal Pull. Now, Universal Pull is very useless. I don't know why people run Pull. And then, like, another jutsu, like, bro, just use the jutsu and hit it, bro. You don't need Universal Pull to land it, in my honest opinion. You don't need the jutsu at all. And then, sometimes, the pull, it doesn't even work. So, with that, I'm gonna give it a D tier. I'm sorry. The pull just never works, bro. It just, it's easy to get away from. You get it from the pain free viewer master. It's just their way. There, every other jutsu is better than this, bro. You don't need this to hit uh, the jutsus, man. I'm sorry, bro. Like, just hit the jutsus, my boy. Okay, so we have Almighty Push. Almighty Push is a jutsu from the Pain Free VR Master. This will literally take out super armor and it will push enemies away from you. Does good damage. With that though, I'll probably give this a good uh, A tier. That super armor taking off effect is very annoying. This and Chroma to an impact are very meta for flag battle. You can use this in like a teleportation. You have a meta build right there. With purple lightning, bro, it's just, it's just very good. I like Almighty Push a lot, man. It deserves an A tier. Okay, so next we have the Summoning Jutsu Enra from the new Kana Amaru DLC. You guys are probably wondering where I would rate this in the Ultimates. Now, listen, it has a long cooldown. It one-shots your enemies. It has two activations. Basically, you activate it to target an enemy after that. They'll basically get one-shotted. The thing is, though, sometimes it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't know why. It might be because, you, you know, you don't actually hit them, but... Hey, bro, that being said, honestly, I'll put this at a... The thing is, bro, it takes so long to get. That's the thing about it. So, if you do get it, though, it does work sometimes. So, honestly, I'll put this at a low B tier. I, I don't think it's, like, the best ultimate. You don't really need this ultimate at all in any game mode. You can make it work with certain builds, but, honestly, it's a good B tier to me. Let me know what y'all think, though. Please, if, listen, man. Let me know what y'all think about this kind of armor deal. See, where'd y'all rate his Jutsus, man? Honestly. Okay, so next up, we have Fire Star Flamey Meteors. Flamey Meteors, man, is a very good Jutsu. It literally works as, like, a sub, kind of. Not really. But basically, man, you're going to summon a Shadow Clone. That Shadow Clone will deal damage to the enemies and shoot fireballs from a distance. While that happens, you could combo your enemies up. So it's a very good Jutsu, to be honest, to like combine it with other stuff. Honestly, though, man, I'll put this at a low 8 tier. I like this Jutsu a lot, bro. Honestly, I like this Jutsu a lot. Because, it, like I said, you can combo with other stuff. The damage it does is very minimal. That's the thing about it, though. But I like this Jutsu a lot, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. So next up on the list, we have the Lightning Style Lariat. Now, Lightning Style Lariat, man. This Jutsu right here, it's it just, I don't know, bro. It needs more to it. I like it, but you can literally block it. Just a charging Lightning Style Lariat. I'm tempted to put this at a D tier because it's just like, bro, it, it just, 
it, it, it's just, I don't know, bro. It's just, it needs more, bro. It needs to break guard. Larry is literally from the Raikage. Why can you not break guard? This man was breaking Sasuke's Susano armor. You're telling me a Larry can break a simple ninja's guard? A bronze one's guard. Come on now. Let's buff this jutsu, please, Bonsai. But this is a good deed here to me, bro. It's, uh, bro, listen, these jutsus are not bad at all. The, maybe Universal Pool and Kamui, but, bro, these jutsus right here, they just need something else, man. I'm sorry. Next up on the list, we have Rasengan. Now, this is a very simple jutsu. You guys know Naruto, Rasengan. You will basically charge your enemies with a Rasengan, and then it will lower their speed by a lot, man. It's actually a very underrated jutsu. You get it super fast. With that, though, I'll probably give it a good beat here, like top of beat here. You can use it for every single game mode, honestly, man. That is lowering speed. Could be very useful for uh, everything, man, if I'm being honest. I will really use it in the pit, though. To just annoy my enemies, bro. So, next up on the list, we have Uchiha Style Halo Dance. Uchiha Style Halo Dance is a three-step jutsu. I don't know why I keep saying three step. It just does three attacks, man. Basically, you hit him one time, hit him a second time, hit him a third time with three Uchiha style, you know, fire style dances, whatever you want to call it, bro, from the Shi Sweet Blade. And yeah, it will seal the substitution. And with that, bro, it, that's all it does. It does a good amount of damage, seal subs. You li it literally is like an instant hit, kind of. It's free hits, basically, man. I like this Jutsu a lot. I literally love it. I'll give this a good A tier, bro. I'll probably put this on. Uh Probably put this like right here, but I'm gonna be honest. So next up on the list, we have Ross and Rampage from the Hokage Naruto DLC. Now, the thing about this Jutsu, sometimes it will not land. When it does land, though, bro, it will seal your enemy's healing for a bit. It won't seal it, but it will just lower it by a lot, so your enemies won't get that much healing. That's very good for game modes like combat battle, pits, basically just any game mode, to be honest. But you would really use this in the pit in combat battle. I would not use... You can use this in base battle, actually, but they're just better Jutsus. But yeah, the thing is, though, it just misses a lot. So, I'll give this a good beats here. I'll probably put this, like, below right here. I I, I don't know. Actually, no, right here. Below Tornado High. I like it, but it just misses, bro. It needs to hit more. Next up on the list, we have the Season 4 Pass Ultimate Uzumaki Rasengan. Uzumaki Rasengan is kind of trash. It will never land sometimes. It takes, like, the whole game to get. And sometimes the enemies could just dodge it very easily. So, with that being said... I would honestly put this like below B tier. I don't know, man. It just it needs something, bro. I don't know what. Maybe like a lower cooldown, but to me, it's a good B tier. Finally, the final ultimate on this list, Kurama Link Mode. This is the godfather of all ultimates. You get this from Hokage Naruto DLC. Listen, man, this is an easy S tier. You want to know why? You literally heal yourself up. You heal your teammates up. You gain a crazy attack speed boost. And not just that. You get a second activation with the Kurama Link head. And when you pop that, it will shoot a blast from the mouth. And it will most likely one shot depending on the class. But yeah, man, this is the best ultimate in the game for any single game mode. Literally, it's universal. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. And now that I realize it, I think I'm missing the pain ultimate. And honestly, the pain ultimate, I don't have a picture of it. So yeah, I don't know why. I was literally looking. I thought I had all the jutsus, but the pain ultimate is a good B tier. I'll probably put it like right here. But listen, man, let me know what you guys thought about my tier list down below. Listen, I will leave this somewhere down below in the comments or on Twitter, man. Follow my Twitter if you guys have it, Ernie Burns YT. Listen, man, I hope you guys have a blessed night or a day. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace. I deserve it. I just looked inside the bag and told the plug it perfect. Diamonds perfect, got that working. Diamonds perfect, yeah we working.